This week, I started one of the most anticipated works on my boat, fixing the main entrance doors. Mechanically, the doors worked fine, but aesthetically, they needed a lot of work. Over the years, the varnish has completely disappeared, leaving the wood entirely exposed to the elements, slowly but surely decomposing it. I'll start by removing the upper board, covering up the rail system. Everything still works as it's supposed to, it only needs a little bit of oil. Now I can remove the door on the port side. So first, let's have a closer look at what we got. The substance of the wood is still great. There are no holes, no cracks, no mold. After putting down a strip of painter's tape to protect the glass, I start with sanding the door with a 60 grain sandpaper. I was surprised to see the true color of the wood coming back to the surface so quickly. After just a single short round of sanding, I was able to remove most of the dead, grey-coloured wood. After sanding the large surfaces, I focus on the corners and edges. And so this is what the door looks like after a first round of sanding. Far from being uniformly coloured, the wood shows different shades of brown and grey, depending on how much material I was able to sand away. Next I do the same with the board that was sitting above the door. Now with this done, we can focus on the frame that is attached to the boat. I didn't dare to remove this board because the screws were too far gone and I was afraid that they would break when trying to unscrew them. The same goes for the rest of the wooden frame. I am sure that if I were to remove it, I will never be able to get it back in the same way it was before. Next I put down the first coat of very diluted boat lacquer and I was delighted to see how the color would change immediately to this reddish brown shade. After letting this dry for a day, I wasn't really happy with the result so far. Especially those darker areas disturbed me quite a bit. And then there are these white areas inside the grooves created by the wood grain. So I went ahead and sanded the first door some more, this time with an orbital sander. Next I put down another coat of boat lacquer and in the meantime, while letting this dry, I start working on the starboard side door. Here I found another abandoned wasp nest and so next I can remove the door. The condition of this door is pretty much the same as the other one with the only difference that the lacquer has turned into some kind of crust in some areas. This time I used the orbital sander right away, hoping to get a more homogenic shade overall. For the frame still attached to the boat on the other hand, I have to use my smaller tools, which worked out pretty well. Next I move on to painting, once again, with a very diluted coat of boat lacquer.
After painting the doors, I let them bake in direct sunlight for an afternoon to make sure they are absolutely dry before putting them back later that day. I will have to repeat that process another three or four times before I get a sufficient amount of lacquer onto the wood. I noticed these little inclusions in the surface of the lacquer. Those are dried bits of lacquer that were left inside the brush after using it for the first and second times. So I brought the doors back into the shop and sanded the surface once more with a more finely grained sandpaper and then put down another coat of slightly less diluted lacquer, this time using a brand new brush. And the result speaks for itself. The different pieces of wood have a more or less homogenic coloring. The surface is smooth, devoid of any kind of inclusions. The lacquer has just the right amount of gloss for my taste. Before putting the doors back, I'm gonna fill in the gaps between the wooden frame and the steel with UV resistant silicone. I purposefully left the old silicone in place wherever it was still attached properly because I will have ample opportunity to work on this properly once we start working on the exterior of the boat. So now, let's put the doors back in place. First, the port side door. Here comes the starboard side door. Next I put back the boards that cover up the rail system. And with that, the doors are officially renewed. Here for comparison, the before condition. And how they look today. Quite a difference, isn't it? And I would like to point out that the doors are not finished. I still want to add two or three more coats of lacquer, but I might put that off until a little while later. Of course, now with these new doors in place, the bad condition of the exterior of the boat becomes even more obvious. I also put back the door lock and handles, at least on one of the doors. I'll leave the doors like this for now, because next I want to give you a quick update on where we are at with the new big boat. I removed some more junk and old wooden installations here at the rear and also in the front of this compartment. And once again I'm starting with this compartment, because this is where I want to place the engine later on. In the end, it looked like this, but that was after hours of pumping out water, drying it and scooping out this rusty mud that accumulated at the bottom of the bilge. I'm going to collect that junk inside of one of these big bags, so that later we can dispose of it more conveniently. I'm happy to announce that my plan to air dry the boat with two large fans works surprisingly well. Most of the areas between the ribs are completely dry by now, and so I hope that removing the dried mud will be easier than in its wet state. 
And so that's where we are at with the big boat. And that is all from me for today. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.